Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. Today, we're going to explore building a jukebox. Not just any jukebox, but a highly detailed and modern minifig scale jukebox. There are quite a few mocks available online for jukeboxes and some are quite nice, but they generally all suffer from being in the wrong scale or proportion. The average height of a jukebox is about 5 feet, which means it should be shorter than an adult. In the LEGO world, the jukebox should ideally be shorter than an adult minifig. The width of the jukebox is also just slightly wider than a minifig, so 4 studs wide is appropriate. 6 studs wide is disproportionate and out of scale. So many mocks that are quite detailed unfortunately are oversized and the jukeboxes that are right size do not have enough detail. The Downtown Diner Modular Building Set 10260 includes a retro jukebox in the diner itself. This is a simple and effective jukebox in terms of what it's supposed to represent. The scale is just right. The width is 4 studs wide and it is slightly shorter than a minifig. The basic shape is accurate, especially the top built with rounded Technic connector parts. The sides are basic using round bricks and studs. There are transparent elements to represent the glass window to see the music selection and grill pieces to represent the speaker. However, it could use a bit more detail. I feel that this could be mistaken as a large radiator or heater, especially for younger kids who might not even be familiar with a jukebox. I wanted to redesign a modern jukebox that is of the same scale as the one in the downtown diner. And as you can see, while it is a little taller, it is still shorter than a minifig. I'd like to give a shout out to the channel LEGO Entertainment who has a similar looking jukebox but with a different design and parts usage. For my version, I wanted the rounded front of the jukebox to be the highest point when viewed from the front, as this is the case for most jukebox designs. I chose a white base as it looks modern and fun. The series of trans coloured studs on either side replicates the coloured lights of a jukebox. There are transparent plates to represent the window, a record tile as decoration, and a grill piece for the speaker. These protruding parts give texture to the build. There's a trans coloured tile piece on the top front of the jukebox representing a light that most jukeboxes have. The sides and back of this build have a smooth finish without any studs showing. Here are the parts you need to build my modern jukebox. For the top half of the jukebox, you will need the semicircular mudguard piece, a 1x4 plate, a 2x4 plate, a 1x2 trans coloured tile, two 1x2 curved tiles, four 1x1 plates stacked together in sets of two, two curved slope bricks, and two 1x2 transparent plates. To build, take the 1x4 plate and place it onto the back of the 2x4 plate. Place the two 1x2 transparent plates in front of it. Place the two curved slope bricks onto the transparent plates. Place the two sets of 1x1 plates onto the ends of the 1x4 plate. The mudguard part goes between the stacks of 1x1 plates. Cover the back with the two 1x2 curved tiles. And finally, place the 1x2 trans coloured tile over the remaining exposed studs. For the bottom half, you need two 1x1 plates, a 2x4 plate, a 1x2 grill piece, a 2x2 modified plate with a half step, two 1x2 bricks, a stack of two 1x4 plates, a 1x2 plate, a 1x2 modified brick with studs on the front, a 2x2 decorated round tile like a record, and two stacks of 1x1 round studs. You need six studs in each stack. I use white, trans orange, trans yellow, Trans Green, Trans Blue, and Trans Light Blue. To build, take the 2x2 modified plate with the half step and place it onto the centre of the 2x4 plate. A 1x1 plate goes onto the back corners of the 2x4 plate. Place the grill piece onto the front of the modified plate. The modified brick with two studs on the front goes onto the front of the modified plate followed by the 1x2 plate. The stack of two 1x4 plates go behind, followed by the two 1x2 bricks. The record tile piece goes onto the front of the modified brick, 
and the two stacks of brown studs go on either side of the remaining studs. To complete the jukebox, place the two halves of the build together. And there you have my modern jukebox. What do you think of the design of this mock? Do you like how it looks? And is minifig scale important to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and unique LEGO content. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.